guard, six foot three from Kentucky, number five, Emmanuel Quickly! And at forward, six foot seven from Duke, number nine, R.J. Barrett! Well, it was a warm garden reunion for R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly, who made their garden debuts as members of the Raptors last night. And joining me now is CP the Franchise, host of Knicks Fan TV. CP, welcome to the show tonight, man. Thanks for being on. Joe, my, my debut appearance, happy to be on with you. The first of many, I hope. All right, Knicks fans, they're obviously sorry to see R.J. and Quick go. But O.G. Ananobi has made an immediate impact with this team. Why has he been such a good fit so far? So OG Ananobi is, a, is what they would call a 3 and D archetype. It's one of the roles that is highly coveted in today's NBA that focuses on pace and space. From a spacing standpoint, he is a terrific three-point shooter. He's shooting 41% from three, including 42% from the corners. And so what that's going to do is uh, allow Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle to have a reliable option on the corners, but also allow them to operate in the paint, doing what they do best. And Jalen Brunson Brunson's case is operating out of the mid-range. In Julius Randle's case, it's attacking the basket. Defensively, OG Ananobi is typically going to take on the toughest assignments. In the Knicks win over the Raptors, you saw him guarding Emmanuel quickly for a lot of games. We've also seen OG Ananobi guarding some of the perimeters best, like Anthony Edwards and even big men like Carl Anthony Towns. And so his versatility, allowing him to defend and take on the toughest assignments for Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson makes him highly impactful. Get this Joe, through his first 11 games with the Knicks, OG Ananobi is a plus 190. I mean, that is wow. Num- that is stark numbers. And with that archetype, as you go into the playoffs, it is the type of role that is transferable into the playoffs. It's a, it's a key role that the Knicks need, and he's been every bit as advertised for them. That plus minus explains why the Knicks have won 9 of 11 since he's been That's with right. the team. All right, so they might not be done making moves just yet. We've heard rumors that they have interest in Jordan Clarkson, Terry Rozier, DeJounte Murray. Do you think they need to make a deal, or can they stand pat and contend for a title with what they have this season? No, they absolutely need to make a move. And we just talked about Emmanuel quickly. The hole that he's left in that Knicks bench has been immense. And the Knicks need some playmaking help, some shot-creating help off of their bench, and and even a little bit in that starting unit. And so they're going to need to go out there and get some help to allow Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle to get adequate rest as they grind towards the playoffs. So they're going to need some firepower. The key name to watch here is DeJounte Murray. He's having an outstanding year for the Atlanta Hawks averaging 20 points per game, five rebounds, five assists, and a career high in shooting efficiency. And so that's what makes him most intriguing for me because it allows the Knicks to have a reliable shot creator and provide their bench with much needed scoring. The trick here is going to be the asking price. It's been said that the Atlanta Hawks are looking for both two first round picks and a reliable player. The Knicks in years past under this Leon Rose regime have typically paid for players on the margins to just help them with their bench depth they typically have not gone to great lengths to acquire players like a DeJounte Murray who has three years remaining on his deal and so it's going to be left to be seen just how much they want this player because they certainly need some bench help all right well we can't talk about the Knicks without talking about the straw that stirs the drink here Jalen Brunson might be the best free agent the Knicks have ever signed I said before the season started I thought he was the Knicks best point guard since Walt Clyde Frazier my man Stefan Bondi was agreeing with me today does he get enough credit though around the league well he certainly gets it here in New York I mean Jalen Brunson has been so dynamic for this Knicks franchise in just one and a half years this year he's been even better averaging a career high in points and 26 points per game a career high in threes and 42.6 percent from three so Knicks fans love Jalen Brunson around the league it just hasn't been that that great and I think it's twofold number one this is only his second year as a full-time starter in the league and so it just needs a little bit more time a little bit more winning to really 
really establish himself on the main stage. And then as it relates to all-star voting, when you look at some of the younger players that are ahead of Jalen Brunson, like a Tyrese Halliburton or even a Trey Young, I believe those guys are a bit more popular, especially with the younger fans, because they're a bit more marketable. If you look at these guys and their social media following, they have more of a presence. They're into fashion. They're into media. And so they do a bit better job of branding themselves, which puts them in, in a more popular position, especially with the younger Gen Z fans. So Brunson has some work to do, but yeah, it's st certainly a fan favorite here in New York. CP, I don't care if you're into fashion. I don't care what you're into. You're into winning. And Jalen Brunson is into winning. All right, quickly here, Julius Randle. Can we finally put the trade rumors to bed for him? Yeah, I think the Knicks have sent the message that they are intending to build this thing around Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle, and Julius Randle has been electric for this Knicks team. He's been leading, especially on both ends of the floor. He's been a, an excellent scorer and creator for this Knicks team. He's exhibiting some great amounts of leadership. Uh, he serenaded R.J. Barrett and, and Emmanuel quickly in their win over the Raptors uh, on Saturday night, and Julius Randle, I, I believe he's here to stay. I, I don't think there's any trade out there in which uh, the Knicks can improve by trade Julius Randle. So right now it's a Brunson and Randle ticket and they're going to go as far as those two guys take them. I'm going to date myself here, but he's like Rodney Dangerfield. Guy gets no respect. Hey, CP, no the respect. franchise, you get the respect anytime you come on. Appreciate you, sir. Check him out on Knicks Fan TV. Thanks for the time tonight, bud. Joe, thanks again. Have a great week. All right, you too.